What's up guys, War here, good morning. Today I'm bringing you a video right before the patch goes live tomorrow and I wanted to talk about a tier list and just where I think all the builds are or at least the ones that we've all been playing up to now and even with the changes is gonna be at for the mid season of season four. And we're just gonna see where they go beyond. We're probably gonna make an updated video to this uh, with the tier list, but just keep in mind, we don't cover every single build. This is mainly just based on you know, damage, pit pushing, and just the overall state of all the builds with the incoming changes. Obviously, we have not been able to test any of the mid-season patches, but uh, hopefully we'll be able to be pretty accurate. So we will make an update video just to showcase the changes to the tier list. So let's go check it out. I got all of them up here on the board. Shout out to Tier Maker for helping us with this. Now, if I left a build off the board, guys, feel free to let me know down in the comments. Maybe there's one that I missed and just forgot to put in here and then let me know and I could probably comment on it and rank it. So we have all of them here. Normally I go one by one, but because for the sake of time, I'm just gonna cover some of these in bulk and then just go over the ones that I think are they're gonna be really good. So starting from the bottom, as you guys can see here, our honorable mentions are gonna be Twisting Blades, Ball Lightning, Pulverize, Barrage, and I mean, you could add in a couple more of these, like Fireball or something like that, Chain Lightning, um, Shred, Arc Lash. A lot of this stuff really isn't, you know, even even the the um, companion build is pretty good. Meteor is the same thing as an honorable mention. Uh, Blizzard is actually a little bit higher. So all of these builds right here are just kind of honorable mentions for uh, the classes in the, the season. It's not that they're bad. It's not, they just don't do... A lot of things in the end game right all of these honorable mention builds you're going to be able to do all your end game content you're going to be able to do the hell tides you're going to be able to do nightmare dungeon 100s you're going to be able to do all the bosses now when it comes to tormented bosses you can do these like do those bosses with these builds however you're just going to struggle right like it's just going to be it, you're not going to kill them fast you know you, you will be able to do it it's just going to be a fight so if you want that challenge with any one of these builds then you definitely could do that um, if we can get the cooldown on Meteor here to be zero seconds, then I would put it up into B. But, uh, I mean, probably Blizzard is here. Blizzard is pro Blizzard's probably like this. I'm just going to leave it off here. But, yeah, so these are all honorable mention um, builds, guys. They're all super good in their own right. The big buff to Twisting Blades coming tomorrow is the only reason that I actually put this here. Otherwise, this probably would be just a leveling build, and we would just leave it off the list entirely. But... It sucks because Twisting Blades is cool, and although I prefer Flurry over Twisting Blades, it would be kind of fun to play the build again. Um, Pulverize, big one here. Big, big buff in the patch, guys, so I'm very excited. This is my favorite Druid build. Um, however, Overpower still isn't super great. I think that this is going to be better. So with the buff, I'm probably going to put it in the B tier, but it's still not the best. So I'm going to leave it down here in the honorable mentions for now until we do some testing. But I still think Pulverize is going to be a really, really fun build. I think you're going to be able to speed farm like probably 100s with this build um, with the patch tomorrow. So that'll be super fun. Just has something just to bash through and just smash every, Hulk smash everything. So I really do like that. But for right now, it's just going to be in the honorable mentions. Uh, same thing but with Barrage, Ball Lightning, Fireball. I mean, all of these for Sork. Sork's just down bad, guys. Sork and Druid are just down bad. But with honorable mentions out of the way, let's go into the B tier, guys. Again, there's still a lot of crazy buffs here. But for Sork, you got Blizzard, Incinerate, Firewall. Um, these builds are very good. Sork got a lot of small changes on the defensive side and just small increases that... It's going to make playing almost every Sork build feel a little bit better. However, Sork just lacks the damage that is needed to push high tiers, as well as just single target damage against the bosses. So Incinerate got a lot of buffs this season, so I really do like this. There is some reports of people hitting for millions and millions of damage, which is cool. You got Firewall, which is really, to me, just a, a leveling build, but it is a B-tier build because you can be very strong with it. You can use this all the way into the end game. Dot damage this season seems to be very, very strong and double dipping in some ways. So Firebolt is, or excuse me, Firewall is super powerful. And then you have Blizzard, which Blizzard is very good. It's probably one of the best single target damage uh, builds from Sorceress this season. So Blizzard is still there. However, the damage is just not super great. It doesn't clear as good as Frozen Orb, and it just... I don't know. I feel like there's a way to make Blizzard so much stronger 
and we just haven't figured it out. And again, I think it's just because it's a lack of damage across the board for Sorceress. Now, on to Rogue. Because I do love some rogue changes that are coming tomorrow. But we got Penetrating Shot down here. I don't think Penetrating Shot is quite an A-tier build. I think there's some other builds that are actually better. But I think Penetrating Shot is still fine. I really hate the shotgun mechanic where it's, you know, combo points. One, two, three, shoot. One, two, three, shoot. That, that style is just really weird. But it doesn't take away from Penetrating Shot. The build is still super strong. It took a big hit after last season because of the overpower stuff. So we can't hit for billions with Penetrating Shot. But... The build is still very solid. You can really just eliminate so many mobs on the screen. So I think the build is actually very strong. Uh, into Necromancer. Now, Necro, even though we have one S-tier build, we will talk about how the S-tier build got nerfed. Huge, huge nerf. But in the meantime, we got Bone Spirit, Bone Spirit, and then the Blight, the Shadow Damage. I'm just having Blight up there for all the different Shadow variants you could be using. Um, I can't even remember what that skill is. But you could use, this is just going to highlight it. Blight's probably the most predominant one and the strongest one. But all of these builds are super viable. They're all strong. Bone Spirit in particular got a huge buff. So these builds are very, very good. Um, they just kind of lack um, a lot of damage. I would add probably an honorable mention for um, Blood Nova, or excuse me, Blood Surge. I call it Blood Nova, but Blood Surge. Um, overpower is just not super good but however this build is very very strong it's a great leveling build as well same thing with bone spear um, these builds are all super good in their own right they don't do they don't really stand out but they can do decent stuff in the pit again they're going to be able to do all the different boss game uh, mechanics now into a tier and probably the ones that we need to talk about which is most important frozen or for sork very very strong build very disappointed in the patch notes for the mid-season update that we didn't get any changes to this build in particular because besides the one that is an s tier this is probably the best sork build of just overall it's probably the best speed clearer out of all the builds it farms incredibly powerful we didn't mention frosty strides because frosty strides would be a honorable mention here but frozen orb is a very very fun build it's very strong it just sucks that we can't get at least you know a couple steps towards the ptr days of season four because the bill was insane and again for sork compared to like barbarian or minion necro like it's just not even close even at the ptr it was still nowhere near these other two classes so i just don't know why the devs hate sork so much but um i'll sacrifice the hate on sork if we can get multi-shot for rogue which brings me into rapid fire Rapid Fire is going to be insane. It's pretty much right here. I think Rapid Fire is going to be super powerful. It's got a hot fix tomorrow, so it fixes the lob at close distances, so it's not you're not missing shots. So Rapid Fire, very, very strong, and the AoE is increased by 25%. So Rapid Fire is going to be super powerful, not only against bosses, but very good at clearing now. It's probably going to be pretty good at clearing. So shout out to the devs for Rapid Fire. I think this build is absolutely fantastic. I'm, I was never traditionally a fan of Rapid Fire, even back in the Diablo 3 days. But with the lob and being able to play it a little bit differently, I dig it. Uh, let's go over to Druid real quick before we talk about Barbarian. Um, this Hurricane is just is just simulating Boulder. I didn't go, I didn't, there wasn't a Boulder icon. I guess I could have downloaded one. But uh, we got the Hurricane Boulder build, which is incredibly powerful. You could probably add a honorable mention for the Landslide you know trigger one um there is lightning storm here this is which is also very good i would put lightning storm in the b tier i just don't have the icon for it but lightning storm would be in the b tier very very good at clearing very good for leveling great aoe uh but the boulder hurricane build is probably very very strong but the best overall build for druids right now i think is still still wolf nato or tornado however wind shear is definitely the strongest like if we go grab wind shear wind shear is definitely the strongest and highest build that is pushed in the pits for druid this season so wind shear is very very strong but i think overall wolf nato is probably still going to be the best yes guys we went real quick and grabbed a few of these icons just to showcase but yeah wolf nato is probably the best so of course wind shear being the best is pushed up very very high over 120 I believe for druid it's just a poison dot build it's a basic build the season is very very strong for basic builds so wind shear druids just need a lot of help um, now for the only build in sork which is the highest pit pushing build in the game is the firebolt build that triggers 
Um, it's a it's a basic build. It triggers the Frost Nova mechanic to explode, or excuse me, shatter to explode. Shout out to Makuna. And this build is pushed the highest. The reason that it pushes the highest is because of how the build is designed. We can get permanent uptime on Flame Shield. So that is the only reason that this build is even high. If we could not have Perma Flame Shield as a sorceress, this build would be way down here, maybe B tier, because you just would not have the ability to survive. So, but because the build works, it is great. It's not, I mean, it's a little cheese, but it's the only way that Sorks can actually do any high level pushing. So I really hope this Sorks get a lot of love. Next, I've been playing so much Rogue because of the downfall of Sork that we got two builds here that are incredibly powerful. One is Heartseeker, and that's the main one that I've been playing. Heartseeker is fantastic. The devs did not nerf it, which is great, guys. So enjoy it because the double dipping in this build is going to get nerfed in Season 5. There's no doubt about it. It's the same thing that's happened with multiple builds in the past, especially like Ball Lightning Sork. So enjoy Heartseeker for now, but it is probably overall the best build for Rogues. Now, real close second, and then when we test it, this may change because the and Andes Flurry Poison build with the Andario Helmet is incredibly powerful. This build is getting a huge damage boost, so I'm really curious to see how strong this build can actually be. So these two builds, very, very good. We're going to have one ranged, one melee. I think it's fantastic and perfect for rogues. Next is minion necro okay we still have a strong minion necro the build is still very very strong however because of the nerf to holy bolts tomorrow minion necro comes down a huge peg and the damage isn't even close now compared to barbarian because you don't have the holy bolt um like kind of bug mechanic happening with the minions the builds all the minion builds are still good but that is just a huge nerf but i still think the build is still very very strong Next, of course, is Barbarian, which is the strongest class in the game. Okay, we got two builds here. We got Whirlwind and Double Swing Tornadoes, but Whirlwind got a huge buff in the patch tomorrow. Both of these builds are very, very strong, good at speed clearing, all of these things. But Bash and then Rend or any Bleed variant, I'm going to quote, uh, is probably the best Barbarian builds in the game. Barbarian has pushed the highest besides the Sork. So Barbarian's, again, still on top and... God, they got another they got another buff. So it's kind of just super strong that they got another buff and Sorks and Druids got kind of left out in this patch. So hopefully maybe next season uh the devs will help out Sorks and Druids. Hopefully. Um, but we'll see. Barbarian again though, still on top, guys. So this is my tier list going into the midseason patch. This may be changing just slightly. I will update when we have done a lot of testing. So, uh, yeah, guys, like the video. Let's get this over 50 likes. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of the list. How accurate was I? Like, how close does, does this look good? What other builds did I miss out on that you guys maybe have been playing that I didn't mention on this list? And, again, don't forget to subscribe, guys. And, as always, stay gaming, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.